We are located right in the middle of Colorado Springs at an area called Palmer Park. It's located in the center of the city actually and for all these years has been left untouched. I used to come here quite often in my early 20s. Yeah, Laura was, is from Colorado Springs or Colorado for the most part, which is where we met. Believe it or not, I never came up here to Palmer Park. It was a little bit further, I guess be further south from where I lived at. It is a beautiful area that I'm sure most people don't even realize exists because everybody comes to Colorado Springs for Pikes Peak to come here for Cheyenne Mountain, Cripple. Cripple Creek. But there are trails all throughout the park itself. It is a county run park, hence the reason I'm not allowed to fly my drone. A lot of hiking trails and everything through here. So this is going to give you an idea of how high Pommel Park is. It is obviously not a mountain, but it's not far from it. And this is a panoramic of Colorado Springs. And I think we're on the south side, right, Laura? Uh, yes. On the way down, we'll get a panoramic of the north side. Um, there's still deer and everything else that wanders through here. I'm not 100% sure of what the rules and regulations are about rock climbing, but as you can see, there is plenty of rock formations that if you're into hiking it would probably be a pretty awesome little area to hike i don't think you can without a permit but um and i'm not sure you can here at all but again there are hiking trails all through here and you can get permits at garden of the gods too to climb just to give you a little idea of some of the trailheads through here they start off with some man-made stairs and then you actually get into more rustic type trails. So everything from, you know, casual walking to actual hiking can be done here. And some of these trails are fairly, fairly long. I was looking at some of them. You'll get a couple miles worth of hiking out of it. And you also have to keep in mind, this is a wild area or sanctuary so all the animals whether it be the bear or the wild cats they're here and we are in their territory it is a beautiful place though i just kind of took this one randomly i parked the truck up a little higher elevation than this so i'm hoping it comes out and leads me back to the parking lot and i think i may have lost lar We're at another parking spot here in Palmer Park. And this little area right here has a lot of rock formations and picnic areas. But as you can see, if you're staying in Colorado Springs, and don't get me wrong, there is so many places to visit here. But if you're staying in the springs, whether it be at one of the RV parks or in a hotel, you don't even have to leave the city. They have this beautiful park right in the middle of everything that you can come in and quite honestly see everything there is to see in the Colorado Rocky Mountains. One of the unspoiled beauties of the springs. Laura and I, we just can't stop talking about how much things have changed since we left here we left colorado and oh god 1998 20 some odd years ago and it has grown and sometimes sometimes when it grows like that it changes things and we always thought this would be home when we come back of course you know we live in stewart at least that's where our permanent home is real quick panoramic but we live in Stuart Wow almost bit it and we always thought we'd come back here we really did but now Colorado Springs isn't that little small town feel even though there are five I believe there's five military posts surrounding this area it always had a small town feel 
now not so much anymore and that's kind of sad and also at the same time you know there is growth and of course i just got through saying right in the middle of town there is this beautiful park which i'm getting up to the top here a little bit maybe i can get another panoramic of the city I mean, just look at these rock formations and you can just walk down in and around them. What more could you ask for? Colorado vacation. It's kind of cool looking little rock formations right over here. Check those out, then I'm on. Oh yeah, look at that. That's just awesome. Well, I better head back. Laura's probably missing me by now. She's with the girls in the truck and I took off just to see what was on this particular pullover and ended up, well, taking quite a walk.